is a dispatch processing for automated tasks. The short video shows you how a workflow in Isidus can easily be recorded and rerun using Isidus batch processing. Recording a workflow called journal file in Isidus is essential for speeding up repetitive tasks such as grade estimation as new data becomes available, setting a specific or advanced workflow in Isidus which can be run by colleagues less experienced with the software or in geostatistics. Isidus batch processing makes use of so-called journal files, which memorize the different steps and parameters of an Isidus working session. A journal file is an ASCII file made of a succession of bulletins. Each action or calculation performed in Isidus corresponds to a unique bulletin. This ASCII file defines the successive actions you need to perform during an Isidus working session and all the relevant parameter values. This video is made using a real data set from a gold and silver or body kindly provided by Patagonia Gold. For the demo, a standard geostatistics workflow is applied on this data set. Now, let's see how to record a workflow in a journal file. Let's start with the record of our workflow in a journal file. In our example, the workflow includes the following actions in Isidus. First, drill hole data import. Second, wear a frame import for data selection. Third, variography. Fourth, grade estimation. And last, display of the results. This is a demonstration video. The focus is put on how to use the journal files in batch mode, not on the parameters selection. Therefore, in this video, all Isidus panels are pre-filled with adapted parameters. We begin by defining the journal file that will store our workflow. In the Isidus main window, we click on the Batch and Workflows menu, and select the record journal file to open the corresponding panel. A window pops up, and we give a name to the journal file, in our case the name is, My Journal File. Select a record mode, we select the automatic mode. The file in full section lets you know which is the last bulletin you've just saved in your journal file and the total number of bulletins already saved in your journal file. To keep being informed of what we are doing, we will keep this panel open to the side of our screen. Now that the journal file is set up, we can start recording the workflow. Let's begin with the data import. In the Isidus main window, we click on File, Import, and select ASCII. Once we have chosen the ASCII file we want to import and the corresponding header, we click on the Import button to load the data into Isidus. The first bulletin is written in our journal file. We now import the wireframes using File, Import, AutoCAD. Once the parameters are set up, we click on Import to load the wireframes into Isidus. The bulletin is added to our journal file. For the further panels, the principle will be the same. Each time we click on Run or Import the bulletin is added to the journal file. The next step is to create a selection from the wireframe, to work only on the data located inside the mineralized unit. From Isidus main interface, we click on File, Selection from a wireframe. Once we are happy with the parameters, we click on the Run button to create the selection. In the Isidus 3D Viewer, we can easily check the data we've imported. Let's go to our workflow third step. We will now compute an experimental variogram. We click on Statistics, Exploratory Data Analysis to open the corresponding panel. We click on the variogram icon to display the experimental variogram. To save our experimental variogram, we press Application, Save and Parameter File to save it. Once we have given a name to our experimental variogram, we click on the Save button. We click on the Run button to save the action of calculating the experimental variogram in our journal file. Now, we fit the variogram model. We click on Statistics, Variogram Fitting. Once the parameters are set up, and the model well adjusted, we click on Run Save to compute and save the variogram model.
The next step is to perform grigging on our samples to compute gold grade estimates over the domain. We click on interpolate, estimation, co-grigging. Once we are satisfied with the parameter set in the panel, we press run to calculate the grade estimates. Finally the last step is the 2D display of the results. If we are happy with the 2D display, we can save the display and its related parameters to the journal file. In the graphic window, we click on Application, Batch. It is possible to choose whether the batch procedure will print this graphic page and or save it as an ISIDIS graphic file. We click on Save Action in Journal File to save these parameters and the current action in the journal file. We have now in our journal file 8 bulletins corresponding to the 8 actions we've achieved in ISIDIS. We click on No Save to stop recording. We can open our journal file in a text editor. We can see all the bulletins we saved in our journal file. Now let's see how we can use the journal file we just saved. In the following steps, we cover how to run the journal file in an automatic way. To run a journal file, in the Batch and Workflows menu of Isidus, we select Run Journal File. We click on Journal File to open an ASCII file selector, and choose the journal file we previously recorded. The different bulletins corresponding to the different actions performed in Isidus are listed in the interface. We simply press Run to automatically launch all the actions stored in the journal file at once. All the results of each action will be saved automatically. In this mode, you cannot change any parameter. That's it. We can also run the journal file step by step. We check then the option run in interactive mode to make the different dialog boxes pop up. We also check expert mode. Let's look at the bulletin called ASCII file import. If we click expand, we can see all the different parameters and their values recorded in the bulletins. We click Shrink to close the bulletin. To run the journal file using the step-by-step -step mode, we click on a bulletin, then, we click on Pop-up Next to display the corresponding panel and run. We do the same for all the bulletins. Let's go to the bulletin called Standard Co-Crigging and press Pop-up Next. The corresponding interface pops up. If needed, you may modify the parameters values in the dialog box. Press Run to save the results. Let's continue with additional information about the journal file. A journal file can be edited and modified. To do so, we click on Batch and Workflows, then, Edit Journal File. We click on Journal File to select the journal file to be modified. In this example, we are going to change the name of a graphic page. We select the bulletin we want to modify, and click on the Expand button. Then, we select the parameters to modify. Here, the name of the final graphic display. We make the changes in the value section and press Modify to apply, then, Close to close the window. We click on Save to save the modifications. The modifications have been applied. In the journal file, we may also introduce instructions such as loops to repeat a task and to gain time. We press Run to launch the journal file. In our case, the loop is used to import four DXF files at once. To finish, let's discover a brand new feature in ISIDIS 2013, the predefined workflow application. This application facilitates the building of journal files tailored to your own data from predefined customizable workflows. A list of six workflows amongst the most used in the industry is already available in ISITIS. Those workflows can be used for environmental, mining or petroleum studies. The first step is to select the workflow we want to perform. Here we choose Univariate Krigging. A list of several variables specific to this workflow is displayed. We need to set these variables with appropriate values corresponding to our current study.
Then, we give a name to the journal. At creation of the journal file all the bulletins are pre-filled with the input and output variables from our study. The last step is to use the Run Journal File panel to load and run the customized journal file using the pop-up next mode as shown previously in the video. Using this mode, you will be able to adjust the major parameters in each panel. You have seen that Isidus allows task automation in an efficient way. Whether you start from your own record, or from Isidus predefined workflows, Isidus lets you build the workflow you need, adapted to your own data. Isidus also goes further by allowing you to register the run of a journal file in a so-called audit file which records all the actions and parameters entered while executing the workflow to ensure full transparency of the computation. Your benefits using the Isidus batch processing are, first, auditability. Your calculations can easily be reviewed by an auditor as each action and each parameter is recorded. Second, transparency. In the same way, you can easily report the results of a specific sequence. Third, task repeatability and time saving. You can easily repeat the same calculations on different grade variables or geological domains. You can also test the sensitivity of your estimates to the input modeling parameters changes. And last, knowledge transfer. A journal file created by an experienced user can be rerun when new data become available or adapted to other projects by less experienced colleagues. For more information, please contact GeoVariances at info at geovariances.com or visit our website www.geovariances.com.